just going to be talking about the first seven films. Starting with the classic right here, Halloween, where it all started. What an iconic cover. I mean, you know, you see this, you automatically know it's Halloween. John Carpenter's Halloween, Jamie Lee Curtis. It says right here, four stars. Halloween is an absolutely merciless thriller. I would compare it to Psycho. And that is quoted by Roger Ebert. Um, yeah, definitely a good slasher, for sure. There's the spine of it. And here is the back. It says the most successful independent motion picture of all time, Halloween. Uh, gives you the synopsis on the back. There's a picture of Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode. And there is the cast and crew. <laughs> Judith Myers. So, the first one is just an all-out classic. Everybody knows that. And... Here is the VHS tape. So that's the first one there, Halloween. Now we're going to take a look at Halloween 2. Jamie Lee Curtis, Donald Pleasance. It's very different from the first cover. It's glowing green right there. There's a picture of both of them. Dr. Loomis and Laurie Strode. And you have the iconic pumpkin with the skeleton face on it with the green glowing eyes. It says, the nightmare isn't over. Halloween 2. There's Michael's hand with a scalpel or whatever. John Carpenter's Halloween scared the living daylights out of 25 million people and set a precedent... Um, in smashing box office records for a horror film, but the nightmare just is just beginning. And it's got Halloween too. It's got the synopsis there. Casting crew. Halloween two. Just when you thought it was safe to go trick or treating again. So, take a look at the tape. Halloween two. Awesome sequel, for sure. Then we have Halloween 3, which a lot of people hate. I actually don't mind this film. Uh, as part of the Halloween series, I don't consider it part of the series. It's It should be its own film. It really should be. Uh, it has nothing to do with Michael Myers. It's called Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. And there you have all those masks that kill people, or kill kids, obviously. Um, the night no one comes home. <laughs> I like that. Here is the spine. It says, gather around your TV set, put on your masks, and watch. And we have the back there. Casting credits there, casting crew. Halloween 3. Here we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. I love this cover. I love how his face just takes up, it's like half of his face actually, but I, I, I don't know, I really like that cover and in the background there's a house there. That's cool. Halloween 4. And here is the back. It says, he changed the face of Halloween. Tonight he's back. Synopsis, cast and crew right there. And there he is, Myers. And 
Halloween 4. It's funny, this doesn't have any subtitle or anything. It just says Halloween 4. So, moving on. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So we have The Return of Michael Myers, and now it's The Revenge. Daniel Harris returns from the fourth movie as a mute, pretty much. Michael lives, and this time they're ready. I like that cover, too, even though I don't really care for the movie. I don't like the mask. I don't know what it is. It's a different mask. Um, I do like the confrontation, though, between him and Loomis. I do like that. Michael Myers is finally unmasked. Here we have the synopsis and the cast and crew. And, oh, this time it's this way. Okay. This one actually has a subtitle. CBS Fox video, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. So that's different. Then we get to Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers which is considered the sixth film in the series. And it says right here, the scariest Halloween of them all. I have to disagree with that. Um, it is kind of gorier than some of the other ones, but this movie's okay. You know, there's the producer's cut and all that. Um, True terror never dies, it says. Michael just gained weight in this movie. Plus, his mask is, again, different. Paul Rudd. <laughs> There's the huge synopsis right there with the uh, cast and credits right there. And I got this at Family... Or, I got this from my cousin Dan and got it at Family Video. So, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers by Dimension Home Video. So, that's the sixth film right there. Then we get to Halloween H2O 20 years later. Sensational, smart, and nonstop scary. A fun ride. I have to agree. It's very fun, this movie is. Perfect ending, in my opinion. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis returns. I loved it. H2O. I like the, you know, that was catchy doing the H2O thing 20 years later. Um, I always thought when I first saw him, like, well, what's this have to do with water? <laughs> I don't know, Rob. Nothing, I guess. Right here, it says an instant classic. There's a synopsis. There's a few pictures from the movie with Josh Hartnett. There. You got Michelle Williams. Jamie Lee Curtis, sexy, smart, and stunning. There's the cast and crew by Dimension Home Video. And H2O. All right. So when it comes to these films, you know, I got to say, like, I enjoy them. I really do enjoy these movies. Um, you know, they're some of the best. Some of them I don't care for. I mean, it's just, it's kind of a toss up. I like, you know, my favorites are one, two, four, and H2O. Those are my favorites. Five, I don't care for. Six is just okay. Three, is fine but it's not part i'm not counting it part of the series it's 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 its own movie it could just be called season of the witch but it isn't um but anyway um yeah that is my halloween movie collection on vhs like i said i don't have resurrection um but you know this is all i have these these are in very very good condition thanks to my cousin dan so um I preserve these the best I can, and I show them off, kind of like my Friday the 13th movies. So you got to do with what you got. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for more of these up-close and personal reviews.